Hi there, my name is David Batsoffen and I host a travel blog called Travel and Things. Currently, I'm a non-traveling travel writer, but the travel industry is not the only one that is um, undergoing troubles and strife at the moment. So is the entertainment industry. And in order to alleviate some of that stress, um, friend and colleague Bruce Dennell has written a new song called Overture. Bruce, Overture You. Oh, I see what you did there. Um, yeah, no, that makes me, I think, sound like more of a, a kind of a emergency worker than I, I deserve credit for. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a song that, that ties into, into that whole feeling of, of missing the arts, of missing theatre in particular. And Overture is obviously um, the, the piece of music that kind of uh, suggesting, suggestive of the story that at the, at the start of, of so many productions. Um, and it's also, it's something that you do to reach out. You extend an overture to someone. So it's it's kind of combining those ideas, uh, theatrical metaphors all over the place, but um, also about connecting with people that we miss. How, how difficult was it to write? Not not much at all, actually. It, it's, uh, there's, there's a couple of ways that, that, that I find uh, kick off my writing, my songwriting, and, and then one, once either of them kicks in, I, I, I tend to write quite quickly. So one one is if I get a, a good um, sort of little riff or something, a hook on, a, on, on the guitar. And the other is, is if I've got a lovely line or a couple of lines or chorus or whatever it might be that just pops into my head, I, I kind of, I was going to say scribble it down, but then I did that. Um, <laughs> I write it down on my phone. You scribbling. Um, and, and save it as a note. Yes, I'm scribbling on my phone um, and save it there. and. Often there's a combination of those, and I think this was one of this was one of those songs where uh, I had a, a nice little hook, little uh, melody to go with, and I had a, something suggested, and I can't remember what it was. If it was the if it was the chorus, or if it was the first line, or something. But then you can sit down and combine them, and uh, I've disciplined myself now to finish a version of the song when I sit down. So uh, it might not be the final version, but rather than writing sort of two lines of a verse and then running out of inspiration, push mm. through, get a chorus, get, you know, get to the end. Um, and often it, it kind of sticks like that. So, you know, this was a, a pretty easy one, I think, also because of the, the passion that I, I have for the topic, you know, for the, the, the art form in well, the theatre and, and the people in the theatre that, I'm, that I'm, I'm so close with, yeah. The, um, this, this one is a, is a solo. Um, yeah. I know that you, when we last spoke, you were working on a collaborative album. So yes. I suppose, was this because of the whole lockdown? Is it easier just to work as a solo artist rather than trying to put people together all over the place and then trying to combine yeah. everything? Look, I think it's, I think we've, as, as you know, I mean, yeah, this, this is fine to get one and one together, and, but, but you might have signal issues and, and you struggle then. And, you know, if you're trying to be creative, um, and, and somebody keeps losing signal or a cat wanders in the back or a kid wanders inside or whatever, you know, it's, it's much more difficult than, than being in the same room and, and strumming guitars together and bouncing ideas off each other. Um, and just obviously safety, you know, we don't want to, um, as much as we all want to create something new and, and perform together and so on, it's, it's not safe. Um, so, you know, we, this, this, is, this is something in the meantime, I'm very nearly finished. I think I've got nine nine songs in various levels, either either released or in various levels of, of uh, completeness for that for the uh, collaborations project. And uh, but I've, I've got lots of songs, and I'd you know like to continue. So this one, yes, done uh, by myself, working with uh, because I'm the world's worst engineer. So yes, did plenty of help from from Ralph Martin, um, a producer. Of, of Mango Groove and others, uh, just a wonderful, wonderful musician. Um, so help with yes on that side, on the technical side. Yeah, uh, I bumble along, strum guitars, sing things, and he does the magic. Yeah, <laughs> he he makes because I've I've listened to the song. You you very kindly sent me an advanced copy, uh, which has mm -hmm. not been shared and won't be uh, Good man. And, and, no, until either. until it's publicly released on the thirty first of of this month. Um, and it's it's a wonderful, wonderful song, Bruce. I mean, I've watched your music grow over the years that you and I have known each other, and this is probably in the top top five of the of the songs that you've Fantastic. that you put out. Yeah, no, you. Uh, I think you you're finally getting your words now. 
if you're a long term fan, then the early years were probably quite tough. So, so thanks for sticking around. <laughs> yeah. We got there eventually. You, you, you have indeed. I mean, I seem to remember that one of your particular albums was bought after a movie preview. We bumped, you and I bumped into Ed Jordan. And he bought the last copy That's of correct, that particular yes. album of, of your early it was, album. And I think the last, uh, genuinely the last, or well, certainly in shops, they, you can still get it online in certain places, but the last physical copy in shop, I think Ed bought, um, bless his stock. I hope he's still <laughs> listening to it. Bruce, earlier this month, or was it last month already? I forget, time just seems to morph mm. into each other. You were involved in a Waiting in the Wings concert. Are there more yes. planned? And what was that one like? There are. Look, I mean, that one, it, it was fantastic. It's, it's, a, it's an initiative which was started by Owen Lanzo, I think, you know, choreographer mm. um, and, and great artist. And yeah, just a uh, guy who understands that there's a need and people are not getting funding from, from government or are not working because he's, he's in events and he knows that events are kind of dead for the moment. Um, so yeah, he put this thing together called Wedding in the Wing South Africa, and now uh, Megan Carlson has got on board there as well, so she's really also putting in a, a hell of a lot of effort. Um, and they put together a, a, a virtual concert that we did, a whole, whole bunch of artists from around the country. And uh, yeah, we on, on the night we were able to raise, I think, 23,000 rand, and um, the, overall, I think they must be approaching about 200,000 rand. Uh, but that money goes out as fast as it comes in. So yeah. um, yes, they've got a brilliant new concept it looks like uh, i'm just watching all the, the preamble you know that they're sharing as they as they film and stuff uh it's a concept called open spaces and they are doing stuff outside but widely spaced and nice and very mm -hmm. safe um but with the joburg youth orchestra eddie clayton who you know um and a bunch of artists as well uh, presented by by sharon spiegel wagner and, and chris jafter um so yeah that's going to be that's going to be wonderful they're doing you know drone footage and the whole thing it'll be the production values look amazing so that's second of august um which yeah and it's called open spaces the concert and okay. uh, tickets are 70 bucks on quicket so if you go and look at quicket i i'm of the opinion that once this lockdown is over whenever that is mm -hmm. And we're allowed to go back to theaters with all this new technology. And you're talking about drone footage and outdoors. Yeah. When we when we do go back to theater, we're gonna go, now hang on a second. What is this? Two actors on a stage mouthing lines at us. Where's the drone footage? <laughs> where's I think where's um, I, I will I will I will check that first. I'll I'll happily go back and, and, and see how I see how I manage. I, I can't wait. Okay. I think what, what everybody has been saying all along. Is, is that you don't get the, the intimacy of the theater. Yeah. You don't see, you know, theater um, from a performer's point of view is so much about feeding off the audience and, and, mm. and the energy. And, um, you know, here we, we're old friends looking at, you know, chatting on a screen is fine. We can, we can fill in the gaps and so on. But um, performing, you know, I don't know, uh, Ethel Fugard, Paul Slab, uh, whatever, to a screen is just brutal i think so you know it's um, it's i have to agree uh, with can't you wait to get back in here. i've tried to do that uh, there was a few god production that was available online and i i think i lasted about five minutes and i love yeah. few god's work but i i just i just couldn't and um not that we started this conversation to talk about theater we started this conversation to talk about <laughs> your song but it must be the same for musicians i mean performing just to a camera rather than performing, yeah, yeah. although I suppose a lot of musicians have stepped up into a venue and it's been you and the sound engineer and there's yeah, no audience no, for, sure. for one, one reason or another. They've all gone Look, on. It's, it's, it's interesting. I think, I think like, like in anything, there's, there's different mindsets and that's how you, I, I, for, I love the studio and I'm very happy sitting in a booth with a guitar and a mic and waiting for a cue and, and so on. You know, so, but, you know, to perform, that, that's recording. So you act you're not wanting to perform there. You're not wanting yeah. interference, if you like. Um, but to perform, you you want you want to see if there's a reaction. You want to you want to understand that if again these words mean a lot of, of overture. They mean a lot to me because I'm mm. uh, theatre. You know, it, it's such a big deal, and um, so many of my friends, it's such a big deal. It's, it's it's their lives. You know. Yeah. Um. But I want to see in in a place that I don't live, that I, I haven't been to, if if those words hit the mark with mm. somebody new. You know that's that's incredibly special. 
uh, I remember the last gig I played before lockdown. Um, you know, got a guy who was who was sort of clapping and singing and whatever all the way along, um, and not drunk. So that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you know, just big muscle bound guy, and, and kind of and found me afterwards and said that, that was you know the songs were very meaningful. I love the lyrics and this and that. I mean, you know, it's kind of fairly sort of sensitive singer songwriter stuff here. Looked him up later, and he's a security operative, and his his uh, his profile picture has two pit bulls. You know, so I was going, you know, this, these not, these are the lines we cross. You know, not this, quite this is your, how we this is how we speak. To people. Yeah, not quite the demographic that your music normally reaches, Bruce. It wouldn't be, but that's what that's what's so lovely because now you're yeah. going, you know, this guy is is this image to to the outside world, but you know, he's 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 feeling something here. He's he's going. Whatever, if the song was about uh, you know um, not being able to connect with a partner or something, mm. he knows what that feels like. It doesn't matter, you know, yeah. if the partner is I don't know somebody different in in his perspective or or, or, or that he he relates differently. He understands yeah you know, intimately what it is, and I think particularly when there's when there's uh, uh, you know some some depth in in a song or in a production or whatever. That that we can't we can't replicate um, over a screen as easily. Um, obviously, film does that all the time, but um, you know we we just we don't have that that opportunity now. I I hear what you're saying. Now, overture comes out on the the thirty one of this month, thirty one of July. When does when do you start working on the next one? Thirty second. Oh wait, I mean the first of <laughs> August. Yeah, uh, it's the first of August. Actually, I'm I'm, I'm recording again, um, and that's a song called "Dreamed You Different." Um, so yeah, I'm looking really looking forward to 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 doing that. But it, it is this case of um, I think another aspect of the whole theatre thing and, and artists in general is that um, we're either too thick or too obstinate or too inspired, hopefully, um, but to quit. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's that I, I was reading somewhere earlier. Uh, uh, William Shakespeare, a couple of William Shakespeare's young siblings died of the Black Plague mm. um, because it was running through England at the time. He survived. Um, it was still going when he started writing. You know, um, and Shakespeare survived. Theatre survived. It we'll did get indeed. through this. You know, we'll we'll be out on the other side, and and we'll be creating, and we'll be, or we'll be showing off what we've created now, and we'll be creating new stuff, and we, you and I, will be going to watch wonderful talent on stage and 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 doing wonderful things. It's, yeah. We'll get there, but it's because at the it's, moment it's a mission to wait. Yeah. At the moment, I think we're all pivoting like ballet dancers. I think we could all yeah. audition for Joburg City Ballet when this is finished Absolutely. because pivot Absolutely. we can. Pivot. Pivot up the wazoo, hashtag. Yeah, hashtag. Well, the, the, the new sentence I heard was, um, I'd approached somebody to, to be a guest on In Conversation with, and when they sent back their um, affirmation, they said, thank you for leaning in. And I'm sort of going, what? Yeah, that was my look, ex that was my look exactly, Bruce. <laughs> I mean, I've heard, of, I've heard of reaching out, but I've reaching. never heard of leaning in before. Out. So, I suppose so, you can't kind of reaching out to a camera is a bit like weird. Yeah, so yeah well, I suppose maybe, that's exactly what would you I like to talk about. Yeah, now, now this is it. So yeah. that's the new. It's now we're leaning weird. in. But, but I suppose <laughs> the ultimate would be reaching out, leaning in, and pivoting all at the same time. Before you said pivoting, it was scanning for a nice Neil Diamond line. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, reaching out, yeah. leaning in. <laughs> Why is it that of all those, of all the hundreds, if not thousands of songs that Neil Diamond has written, if you say the words Neil Diamond, somebody will go, oh, 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 because it's always Sweet Caroline. And, and I have to say that when, when I worked with Steve Hoffmeyer, who did a Neil Diamond song, I was standing with Steve one evening when some guy came up to him and said, do you know that Neil Diamond is singing your songs? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And Steve sort of looked at him and said, what are you talking about? And he said, no, I've heard Neil Diamond doing Sweet Caroline, and it's your song. The cover version. 
Oh, man, that's beautiful. Oh, I tell you. And I suppose it, that, that would be a nice segue. Um, I know that you have just out of sight is is your guitar. I don't know if it's the 12 that's or the great. 6 string. Um, it's the 12 today. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. So what I'm going to suggest we do, I will say mm. thank you very much for being a guest on In Conversation with Bruce. And I'm going to allow you to play out with as much or as little of the song as you'd like. But I would ask that when you get to wherever you go to stop just look at me or give me some sort of cue so that i can hit the off button <laughs> i don't want to stop you after one what's, sentence what's, so, what's the safe word okay cool. you know, what is the safe word overture that's what the safe word is there, okay but but before i let you pick up your guitar for people who want to buy the the song how do they do it so look i mean when, when we say oh, it's pretty much part of the course now when we say it's going live it, it, it's going live on all the digital platforms. So if you listen on Spotify or iTunes or Deezer or uh, Amazon Music or uh, what else? Uh, Jukes is a local one. Uh, mm. um, Tidal, it, all of these kind of things. It's, it's on all of those. Um, again, it, I know myself, I need to sort of own up to that. We're all kind of learning all the new ropes here and, and what helps and what doesn't help. Uh, but it really does help an artist if you like their music or if, you're, if they're a friend of yours or whatever. Um, you know, go and like it. Um, the, it's all algorithms. So yeah. if, if you if you like it, if you add it to a playlist, um, if you share it, all of that kind of stuff, that all pots up somewhere, um, and it and it starts coming up more more frequently on on various pages. So yeah, Bruce Denel, just my name, D E W N I W L. Bruce Denel. It's an art, the artist page. All the, all the music is there, and if you've missed any of the other songs, those are there as well. Um, and then thirty first. Yeah, 31st of, of July, next Friday, it'll be live. Um, stream it, download it, put it on a playlist, share it, please. We'd really appreciate it, yeah. Great stuff. Bruce, once again, thank you for being a guest on In Conversation With. I wish you, you all so the very best uh, with the new song and uh, with the next episode of um, Waiting in the Wings. Fantastic. Yeah. Good luck, guys. I'm not in that one, so I'm just holding them. Ah, well. Okay. You just um, hold, yeah. you, will, you will be so waiting you in the see. wings for episode for, for waiting in the wings number three. But in the meantime, exactly. something like that. We're all in it together. There you go. Bruce, guitar, song, yours, and you can take Thank us you. out of this interview. Well, screen. <laughs> I'm actually going to put this to the side because it's pretty loud. Here we go. on stage to find its own black town. There are conditions caused a glimpse would we must go without. Friday, 31st of July. Thanks, guys.